Good morning, everyone. It's 20 to 10. The trial is back on. I'm not quite sure what It's Tuesday. Happening. Have a wonderful Tuesday. We're going to have there. some breakfast. Then we're going to go out and shop. My flowers are still doing well. I've had to throw the odd one away, but they're really doing well. Off we go. As you can see, it's beautiful today. We've got our free air conditioning. Windows are open. So you are not working. It's letting us down. Not many clouds in the sky today. ride to the Brit store because it's fairly quiet so we want to fill our hours we've been watching the Johnny Depp case but they um, they've gone to lunch now so an early. yes an hour early so rude uh, we were listening to it through the speakers it was amazing anyway we're in Mount Kisco. Okay, we just did a quick ride to <laughs> bag of goodies. We just went to um, the hamlet and got some supplies while we sit outside Wegmans and hopefully get a job. Okay guys, we just did the last delivery. So we're gonna head back because Ash is going to Queens. Quarter past three, and we just did delivery here. From my planes. So, this is how my Avon was delivered to me. It was sitting on the doorstep like this with a great big hole. So, hopefully, my books aren't all ripped because they won't respond. They won't uh, give you money back for books, Avon. And hopefully, all my stuff's in there. Nothing went astray. Hi, guys. It is 5 12. It's 5 12, Luna. I'm just eating lunch now. Were were uh, did three batches, but not big ones. Ash has gone to Queens. She should be back later. <laughs> Obviously not now. I've got my trousers all in and my jeans all in. Avon came like I showed you, big hole in the box. One of my mascaras was missing. Sorry, I had something stuck. I just took a bite of a sandwich. I'm just getting to lunch, like I said. But yeah, one of my mascaras was missing, so hopefully they'll replace it or just give me a refund and I'll reorder it. But I don't know. Come on, UPS. You've got to be more careful with our boxes. It says Avon all over them, so you know that they're delicate. Anyway, I will definitely talk to you guys a little later. I hope you have or having, I hope you're having a wonderful tea. I got this Yorkshire tea from Amazon. Well, I went to the Hamlet in New York today and they have it now, the Yorkshire bedtime. So I've almost finished my box over there. So I bought another one and they have breakfast tea. <laughs> How cute is this box? Yorkshire tea, toast and jam. Tastes like jam on toast. I don't know. Is it going to be sweet? I don't know. Is it normal? I don't know. Is it a breakfast tea? I don't know. I know nothing, but I'm very excited. I think it's so, such a pretty box. So I've got my backup of my bedtime tea because I literally have one a night. And then I got my Avon order in and we have a new cucina, cuchida. <laughs> um, this is dishing up, uh, washing up liquid. And they've now got a red apple as well. And it smells delicious. So I've put it right out. I never did show you this. This is another new product with Avon. This is the spray, the grease spray. Fresh citrus, tackle food stains and grease with just a spray. And it's ever so good. So yeah, we've got my quite my little, uh, well, besides that one, we've got the Kachina hand soap as well. But yeah, love it. I do need to paint these window sills. Okay, so just put the bin, the garbage out in the bins because tomorrow night we'll put them out. I've just tidied up a bit. Showed you my new tea. Look forward to trying that in the morning. I think I said to Ashley, I'm going back to more of my tea, even though I've just made myself a coffee. Go figure. Um, sometimes coffee is so much easier, just stick it in the, you know, the little doodad in the pot and boom, boom. But I've, I've started drinking more tea again lately. 
and um, I just love the look of that. I was actually on the Hamlet's website this morning, putting stuff in my basket, having a look, and I'm like, oh, and then when Instacart was so quiet, Ashley goes, well, why don't we just go take a drive now rather than sitting here? Because as you know, Ashley's car, the AC is broken and it was hot and we were watching the trial. So we decided just to drive over. It's only like 20 minutes away. It's not that far at all. And it was nice because it was quiet. We managed to get a spot right out front. Went in, had a little chat, got what we needed and came out. I didn't get bacon, but there again, I have a pack I haven't opened yet, so I didn't need it. I'm trying to only get what I need. Um, yes, we did get some more cheese and onion crisps and yes, we did get a Kit Kat and a drink, so, and tea. And it's important, but there again, it's better buying the tea on from them, a local store, rather than online. But uh, yeah, anyway, on that note, guys, I'm going to love and leave you. I went outside too, because I thought I could hear the the drums. The guys are, the band is practicing now because next month is band night. So I don't know, maybe I should take a walk down. I don't know, we might, we might, we might, just to see the high school band, because I've sat many a night through kindergarten, through high school. Um, all the years Ashley was in band, Ashley was in pom-poms when she was little, and then she was in band 4th grade, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th. So, yeah, we sat through many, 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 many band nights. Plus, I don't want to get sad. I never told you. Did I tell you? Maybe I did. I don't know. I started to say goodnight, and then I just thought of this. And I'm sorry if the fans make it a noise. We'll find out when I edit. Um, on Mother's Day, one of the girls from the high school yearbook um, sent me a text wishing me a happy Mother's Day and said she missed me. And I'd chatted with them a couple of weeks prior. I was asking how everything was going because she'd been with us since freshman year. And then you know how upset I was when we weren't doing yearbook this year because they were seniors and I had four girls that were with me since freshman year. So not doing their senior year felt really bad. And I know there were some issues with the yearbook this year because it was a new person taking over and it's a lot of work. And this person realized and said they're not doing it again because it is a lot of work. And we did it eight years, I think. So anyway, I was bummed that we weren't doing it for their senior year. So I checked in on them. And did I tell you this part? She said, yes, I did. I think I did. But anyway, she goes, yeah, we still speak in your accent to each other because we miss you, which I thought was really sweet. And then when she sent me a message on Mother's Day, it just really touched my heart. I thought it was so sweet. Anyway, I do miss them all. I wish we never quit the the high school, but... As we all know, <laughs> some big decisions were made and um, I was pushed on the heap as well. So anyway, I do miss them. I haven't been in the school much. I do need to go drop Maddie off some. She's been asking for Avon books and I need to go do that. So hopefully I can do that tomorrow or Thursday. But anyway, on that note, now I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everyone had a brilliant, brilliant um, Tuesday, it's only Tuesday, whatever it is you did today, I hope it was a good one, and we will definitely see you tomorrow. <sniffs> Take care, guys, and stay safe. <laughs>